And as I said, today, an unboxing, ultimate unboxing. Different places, different worlds, nothing left, just empty words. Back for breath. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Yes, I'm again sitting on the right side. Feels so good. Also a little weird, I got used to driving on the wrong side. But anyways, today it's time to head over back to the studio, enjoy the entire day there, make music, take care of business stuff, the usual deal, basically just back to business. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, morning. Back at the studio. Yep. I'm five, six minutes late. I'm sorry. It's all right. I had to pick up a very important package, actually a couple of packages. And Max is getting his own key oh, really? to the nice. He's getting promoted, kind of. <laughs> You're not getting more money, but more responsibility. Right. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Hello, B Studio. Feels so good to be back. Also, hello, disco room. I also miss my vocal booth, my reverb chamber, chill out room, kitchen, and of course, my favorite, the huge, huge, huge A Studio with the huge, huge, huge speakers. And as I said, today, an unboxing, ultimate unboxing, probably the biggest here on this channel, except for those bad boys, I, I can't top that. While I was gone, the entire DJ equipment arrived. We got now the SC5000 Prime, the Denon Prime Mixer, another CD player, <laughs> trying to hide the sticker, and two more boxes by Denon. <laughs> So yeah, really massive unboxing today. I actually don't really know where to start. There are also two more packages over here, very special ones for the end of the video. That's that's huge news. But also all of this is really huge. Um, let's maybe just start with one of the Denon media players. Really absolutely beautiful. Comes with all of the necessary cables. Some other companies don't provide cables, but I think in this price class, this should be a part of the package. We got the change, the USB, the ethernet connection cable, and of course, power. We will skip the second player because it's just the same thing. Let's get to the mixer. This one is massive. It's pretty. I absolutely love it. it. It feels good. It feels sturdy, build quality, top notch, full metal. Absolutely in love with this. Next up, more gear. Finally, 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 finally. Nice turntables. Also here, full metal, really heavy. Can't wait to be able to play my vinyls again on something that actually works. So yeah, that's that's a huge unboxing. Now let's assemble everything, get it in place, connect it and test it for the first time. And at the end, we'll do the two other packages that are still missing. So yeah, that's like one huge massive setup absolutely love it we got the media players the mixer the turntables everything denon everything nice and good and if you're wondering why denon i think at the moment they have huge advantages over pioneer yes pioneer is the club standard but i think if you can dj with these you can also dj with pioneer and they just have more features functions and are definitely newer can't wait to scratch as you know, I used to be a hip hop DJ like, I don't know, 10 years ago.
quick tip, if you get back from vacation and you actually have to write a whole lot of emails, don't unbox DJ equipment and lose totally track of time. It's already dark outside. I've been playing around quite a lot and I have to say, I love it even more. I've tested these a couple of times in stores and on Ferris, ADE and Dance Fair. And I love the build quality and the new features and functions. But now that I got actually to play with them a little, I love it even more. There are so many small details that I've been missing and they're now so easily accessible. For example, the mixer has like a separate filter section that I really love. Then for example, if you have the reverb on with the FX time, you can like make the reverb bigger, smaller. But if you push it down, it actually freezes the reverb and you can have like really nice transitions, tails of the reverb and then hit again with the drop really 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 cool and there's a lot more like this entire section down here i first didn't like it because it's a little like hip-hop kind of stuff but it's amazing you can on the fly rearrange songs get your hot cues do the rolls the slice also this loop move button is a lot nicer you just click it and then just with every click it changes the loop from one bar to two bars four bars and so on this is so convenient. And then vinyl, I don't know. I have a strong connection to vinyl because that's how I started playing and just being able to listen to my vinyls again, scratch a little. It's kind of nice, really, really feels good. And there's probably still a ton that I don't know about. So I will further test them. Let me know if you're interested in a full review of the Denon equipment or maybe a video Denon versus Pioneer because the past Eight years I've been always DJing in the club with Pioneer CDJs. I'm not sure if I will take these with me the next time I will DJ because they're quite similar. They are definitely further and way more advanced, but carrying them around is also always a risk. So I hope Denon will continue to battle with Pioneer because it's just good for us DJs. There will be new features and functions. The price will be lower. So I'm really looking forward to this and I'm happy to support a new company or at least a company that is new to this high class DJ equipment market. But as you know, there are two more packages. This one's the first one. I'm still not sure if this will be something for Studio A or Studio B. This right here is a new sound card, the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre. It's a huge, massive sound card. You might remember I tested one of these Focusrite sound cards, like I think like two years ago, like the very small one. And I was surprised about the quality for the price. So I thought, why not get the big one? for the studio to be able to record multiple instruments, have a lot of in and outputs. So again here, let me know if you're interested in a full review and test. And the last package, I don't know, it's like the smallest, but I've been looking forward to this for the longest. I hope everything is all right. Oh yes. We got the first test print of the Accents merch. This one right here is like a basic shirt. You can choose different colors just with the Accents logo on top. And this one is so cool. Let me just put it on. First, John Sign hoodie. So if you're interested, the, the merch, the website is now live. You can go check out the first link in the description, click on it, get your stuff, support me, the studio, the Accents team this way which is really nice and still have something cool. At the moment, we're just offering the basic stuff with the John Sign logo, the Accents logo and different colors. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this huge, huge, huge unboxing. And yes, I'm back. I'm back in the studio. Vocations are over. So I hope people start watching my stuff again. The, the viewing count really dropped like crazy. You can fully understand not everyone is interested in vacation, nice pictures and shots and drones and stuff like that. So we're now fully back. Yeah, yeah, yeah.